Welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today I'm going to have a quick look at opening Fujifilm X-T3 RAW files in Lightroom. I went on a wildlife experience with Fujifilm to Bradgate Park to test out the Fujifilm X-T3 with various lenses and while I was there I was mainly looking at it for video use but I took a number of stills and used various ISO for those images. When I got back obviously loading onto the computer and at that time Lightroom would not open uh, X-T3 raw images but Lightroom's now had an update and you can actually open the X-T3 raw images in Lightroom so I imported them all into Lightroom opened it up and had a bit of a interesting outcome so I thought we'd have a look at those see what you think see if you come across the same if you're an X-T3 user and I've just opened them up in Lightroom um, if you use any other raw conversion software what are your thoughts on how it's coped with them and we'll just have a quick so we'll go into Lightroom here we are in Lightroom and I've imported these four images uh, with varying ISOs this one is at 200 ISO 800 32 and 64 and you can see they look pretty good so we move into develop this is the 200 and if we zoom in one to one can see that Lightroom standard sharpening as it's brought it in imported it in really no noise and nice and sharp very happy 800 ISO go one to one and we start to see that the imported sharpening by Lightroom that you're getting what everyone used to call worms or artifacts in the noise actually on the, the main picture there's nothing really there take that sharpening out completely it's near enough gone so the sharpening is doing it if we go up to 3200 again that looks fine go in and the artifacting is getting worse take the sharpening down to zero the noise looks nice it's still a little bit but nothing but the default sharpening yeah if we go then up to 64 it's getting really bad take the sharpening right out yes we can see the noise but it just yeah not happy with it at all so Radiant Transformer so in the options let's do it at no sharpening no luminance no colour noise reduction but we'll let Lightroom sort it out and let it convert them 
There are four images. And develop. And there's ISO 200 as converted. Still got original sharpening. Okay, this one's the 800. This is where we started to see the worms, as they call them. Still there. Thirty-two. Still there. Sixty-four. Just as bad. So is it Lightroom? Let's do this again. This time we'll turn off all of Lightrooms. We'll do medium sharpening. No luminous. No there. Uh, converted and to develop so there's no sharpening now by Lightroom at all no noise no color all been done by Iridient 200 still very good so 800 where we started to see it I would say it's better Thirty two I would say it's definitely better sixty four. Mm. I'd still say it's better, definitely better. There's all three. This one on the right is the radiant one. That's the raw one. We'll zoom in. It's definitely better. Not quite as sharp. This one on the left is one that uh, Iridian has done, but left the sharpening to Lightroom, and this one is Iridian with the sharpening there. So, I don't know what's going on with Lightroom. It's not doing a fantastic job of the uh, converting the RAWs, uh, especially in high ISO. I don't know if you're having a better look. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Or are you using a different program? This is Luminaire. I've got the RAW in. See if this does a different, uh, better job of it. Colours a bit off. Let's just have a look at the sharpening. And 100% sharpening. I think it's 6400, it's better. I've still got some worms, as we're going to call them. But it is better. 
at the moment I think stick below 800 ISO if you're going to import RAWs into Lightroom we'll use the uh, JPEGs we'll see what the JPEG version of this is like this is the 3200 Yeah, definitely stick with JPEGs. As I say, that's my look at uh, RAWs in Lightroom at the moment. I think anything over 800 ISO, Lightroom is just doing something really weird with sharpening the uh, noise. So leave your comments below uh, regarding how you're getting on with uh, X-T3 RAWs and which program you're using and which do you think is best. Till next time, see you later.